Hello everyone, Neil for T-Shares here, coming at you with another strategy for Tetra, where we automate your DeFi. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you would, please like, share, and subscribe. And today we're going to take a look at the pooled harness strategy that will be available on Pulse Chain. Now, I've done a previous video on the harness strategy, and I'll post a link in this video so you can look at it at your earliest convenience. We're going to look at this today, as well as some of the uh, methods and the building options that the user interface for Tetra will have and how it will kind of be organized and how we should think about uh, using it to build our strategies. So let's take a look at that now, shall we? Now this is not a UI uh, exact copy or replica, but more of a concept of how UI is going to operate within Tetra. So we have a, a premise here that I want to pull and use a pulled haunted strategy to function on pulse chain and so in Tetra what I would do I would go and search for haunted strategies and find some to I could build so here in the search engine we would pull up a haunted strategy so for this instance I picked the 10% haunted strategy a 30% haunted strategy and a hybrid strategy which show which are just a combination of each of these just for an example there may be many other styles and types, as well as hot pull strategies, red squirrel strategies, and so forth. And I also have a series of options and conditional parameters that I can utilize to drag and drop to build my strategy. So as I think about this and contemplate how to do, do so, I, and since it's a pooled strategy, I'm going to pick several users, in this case 10, to run this strategy example and build it and see how it works. Now, I must think about it. Because I have a pooled strategy, I must go through the process of designing this in such a way that I want it to be an immutable and trustless strategy. No problem. And I want it to be fair and equitable for each and every person involved. So I would come here and drag and drop a condition and say, part of my conditions is this. All users will retain their percentage of the earned pooled pulse. That's fair. Straightforward. And next, I'll pull down another condition and say, when the total pulse all the wallets is equal to or greater than $22,000, I can begin the haunted strategy. Also needed, makes sense, and this also allows me to run a safe collateralization rate within the strategy at 1,000%. So I have another condition I want to make is because I want people to be able to you know take their money when it's time. As users, uh, Pulse is it increases and is greater than or equal to twenty two thousand dollars then the the, uh, the the smart contract automatically remove that pulse of the percentage they own and automatically go back to their wallet and they're out of the strategy sounds good and great it's trustless it's immutable it happens automatically no problem but now i'll do some thinking because what if i have a situation where we have an imbalance in numbers so far. So if I have somebody with a, a lot of pulse and a very and a bunch of people with very little, there'd be an imbalance. Because if this if you were to pull the large person out, there wouldn't be enough pulse available in, to, in the pool to continue running the strategy and take out the loans. So in this I'll make it, I'll bring down another condition to make to say, but this this condition here will only operate when the user's pulse that's removed. Uh, as it's removed, the remaining of the pool must be greater than $22,000 after removal. If not, it won't be removed. So that ensures that everybody who participates in the pool can stay active in the strategy. Okay? So I've, I've walked through these uh, design options and parameters to try to come up with a, a good equitable solution for everybody who wants to join a pool. So now the math comes in like, well, what if I do have somebody who, wants to have, who has a lot of pulse and several people who have very little? That would bring an imbalance to the system. Because the first person would be stuck in the pool until the, 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 all the smaller guys would have enough pulse to make this condition work. So I must do something else. So I, I need to limit the pool to a certain range. So that's what I can do. So this pool range in this example will be $1,3500 worth of pulse. Okay. And with Tetra's backtesting methods, you can go in there and run the strategy and set these ranges on the fly and check them and see what kind of results you get. So for this instance, it would it would generate numbers such as these and tell me that, hey, uh, user one, if he puts $1,000 in, he has a 22x the value of, of pulse as, plus a, uh, pulse accumulation in order to get out of the strategy. But whereas 
User 5 will put in 3500 when he has to have a 6.3x. So, but that's not a very big difference, and maybe that's doable. And so, in this case, I decided to go with it and see what would happen. And then, when these conditions are met, then I would then go ahead and launch the pool and open it up and let the strategy commence when all these things happen. And that's what Tetra will do. So I went back and did a spreadsheet to, to and generate these numbers to see what would happen and did a long-handed method. And we'll look at that now. Now in this spreadsheet, I had the same 10 users and they all have the starting value of pulse and the total pool value of $22,000, which meets our condition. And so at a 6.29x in this case, the guy with the highest uh, amount of pulse, he's gonna get out first. And then there's a remaining, uh, and the current pulse value is then shown of the remaining pool, which is more than $22,000 in this instance. So the next uh, time pulse uh, goes oh, another 1.4x from this previous point, these two people will be out because they both put in $3,000. So they're out and the remaining amount of the pool is $91,000. So it could, the, the strategies continue and my conditions are being met. Now, the, the pulse, when Pulse does another 1.47x, then in this case, these two people will be out because they'll have the next highest amount. And in another 2.2x, these, these two uh, people will be out. And then a, a 3.7x, this person will be out then finally, you'll, you'll be left the last two people who put in $1,000 each, and they have to wait another 7.33x before they'll be able to get out of the pool. But since they both have less than $22,000, the last two people in this pool then will be just running it together until such time as they have enough pulse value to get out and start on their own. So as you can see, this is a long-handed method of comp uh, computing all this to make sure that my strategy would work. But with Tetra, it can be done for you with the back testing feature that's, that's going to be available. Now let's go back to the strategy. Well, as you can see, Tetra's simple drag and drop user interface will make building strategies simple and easy uh, with ability to search for different strategies and different conditions to be used, as well as subconditions. Uh, you could have Tetra build these things for you with relative ease and simplicity and back test them. Uh, to ensure that they work. And this strategy, for example, could be something that Honda decides to do for, for, for us and uh, come up with a good uh, strategy that we can just pull and just have it preloaded. And Tetra will have several of those when it comes available. And so, as, for, as far as strategy goes, this could be optimized and customized to your liking. Uh, you can set gas parameters on each of these conditions. You can set a time limit on the strategy. So let's say it only runs for six months. After six months, everybody gets their, their tokens back, regardless of the price, if there's something happens in the market, um, and all kinds of things like that. So with Tetra, you're only limited by your imagination. And all these things can be done and run and tested. Um, ranges can be adjusted. Uh, numbers can be uh, tweaked and tested on the fly just to make sure your strategy works like you want it. So I hope you can see the benefit of what Tetra can do for us how simple it's going to be easy and, and easy it's going to be to do this and really automate the DeFi space on the blockchain. Well, I hope you've enjoyed and learned something from this video today. If you would, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. I want to give a big shout out to Haunted. I thank him for the use of his strategy in this video. And I'll have a link in the description below if you want to learn more about the Haunted strategy as well as the up token which Haunted is the creator of. So also, we have a uh, Tetra strategy community on Telegram. Please feel free to uh, come in and join us uh, where we talk about strategies and ideas and concepts and have a good time uh, just discussing what all Tetra can do for us in the future. Well, this is Neil for T-Shares, signing off on another strategy for Tetra. Have a nice day and take care.